Freedom Party. Freedom Party. Freedom Party. Freedom Party. Freedom Party. Freedom Party. We came here today for several reasons. One, to say that there's more than two candidates in the race. And the Freedom Party has a candidate. Cuomo wanted an all-white slate, he got that. Now he wants an all-white debate. He's not yeah. getting that. Right. We're here to say that we are here to stay. We've shown 43,000 people, strong support. 43,000 people supported our candidacy. We are on the ballot officially. Paladino only got 25,000 signatures. He's in the debate, and Cuomo got none. So we had to say that we're not going to sit back and allow that to happen. Also, the Freedom Party today is saying to the state that we can do something about transportation. That transportation, they say they don't believe in taxes, but when it comes to raising the transit fare, that's a tax on poor working class families. Raising college tuition, that's a tax on families. Raising the clothing tax, that's a tax. Everybody but the rich. Freedom Party is saying that we're going to put together a plan so that we can get to lowering the transportation fare and perhaps eliminating it and showing where the money can come from. How do we get there? We have a gentleman with us, he's nonpartisan, but did an independent study on the transportation fare. He's going to come before you. But these are the issues that the Freedom Party will be standing for. We know that if we do a pit surcharge, a personal income tax surcharge, on those who are making 300000 that happened already, 250000 to 300000 1.5%, and that generated $4 billion projected. It actually generated $3.2 billion. They didn't go all the way up had they followed the advice of some of us in the state. And when you got to 500,000, 2.5%, 1,000,000, 3.5%, when you get to uh, 10 million, 5.5%, you could generate anywhere from eight to $12 billion. And then dedicate three billion of that to lowering the transit fare. That's what they receive through the fare, $3 billion, when you look at the fair. So we are gonna further explore that fair. We have a, a gentleman here who can explain more, and then we're gonna discuss some of the future plans of the Freedom Party, and we're gonna discuss how Cuomo and Paladino should not be options for our community. They were missing in action for That's us. That's right. And now we should be missing in action for them right. on November 2nd. Cuomo nor Paladino did anything for the black community. And what they're trying to do is make it seem like they are worlds apart. They're very similar on policy, very different on personality. Cuomo hides away from the media. That's right. Paladino thrives in the media. Paladino is a racist, loose cannon that called the President of the United States a pimp and the First Lady a prostitute. But his racism or bigotry is quite obvious. But benign neglect by Cuomo is another form of racism. That's right. When you have 50% black male unemployment, and nothing from Cuomo. When you have stop and frisk to the tune of five, 600,000 innocent people, we hear nothing from Cuomo. When you have foreclosures that he helped facilitate when he was the HUD secretary because of his incompetency, we hear nothing from Cuomo. So Cuomo comes to Harlem, 36 days, 36 days before the election. Now he wants to talk to black people in Harlem 36 days before the election. We're not having it. We're not gonna fall for, we have to vote for the lesser of two That's evils. Right. We're not voting for any evil right. anymore. We have an option. The Freedom Party is a real reason for our people to vote. We have an option now. We're gonna say vote for Charles Barron and. Eva Doyle and Ramon Jimenez, when you vote for the Freedom Party ticket, you're saying that I'm voting for taxing the rich, balance the budget off the backs of those who have it, not the have-nots. 63,000 people will be taxed. Less than 1% of this state, we can balance the budget 
off of that, not off of closing down daycare centers, closing down senior centers, closing youth centers. We no longer can allow Paladino and Cuomo to say that they're going to cut 20% from spending. Cut it from where? We're bleeding enough. What else are you going to cut? We're cut to the bone. We're at the marrow. There's no way you can balance a $9 billion deficit by cutting a loan. You have to raise revenue. Everybody knows that. Only the Freedom Party of these two major candidates will say, we're going to tax those that have it. Only the Freedom Party is going to deal with the racism in this state. It permeates every institution. Look at Bloomberg's administration. The higher you go up, the wider it gets. It's like the Rocky Mountain, the snow on the top. It is racism that is causing us not to get our fair share of government. Look at the disparity in income. The Upper East Side, the median income is $72,000. The South Bronx, the median income is $19,000. Why? Why? Because the South Bronx is black and Latino, and the Upper East Side is white. Those kind of disparities, you're not going to hear it from Cuomo or Palladino. They have different personalities, but the same kind of policies, particularly fiscal policies. So the Freedom Party is not going away. We're out here to say that this is an alternative for our people. 50,000 votes, and we are a bona fide state-recognized party. 400,000 votes, and we have more votes than any third party has ever gotten. That's leverage. 1.6 million votes, that's and I'm right. the next governor of the state of New York, that's right. and that's power. That's right. Freedom Party! Freedom Party!